Vitiligo is a common skin depigmentation disorder. This means that the skin loses its colour, or pigment, called melanin. Vitiligo begins with the appearance of one or more patches of white, unpigmented skin, which enlarge and migrate over time. These patches, also known as vitiligonous lesions, appear because the skin cells responsible for producing the pigment, called melanocytes, progressively lose their function or are destroyed. Melanocytes are found in the top layer of our skin, the epidermis, and hair follicles, in the deeper layers of the skin. The most common subtype of vitiligo, non-segmental vitiligo, occurs in 85 to 90% of cases. While the exact cause of non-segmental vitiligo is unknown, it is believed to have an autoimmune component. This means that the body's own immune system attacks and destroys the melanocytes, causing the loss of pigment and leading to white patches seen in the disease. There is no known cure for non-segmental vitiligo. However, several treatments have been shown to reduce the spread of the lesions and to initiate repigmentation of the skin. Narrowband UVB phototherapy is a medical procedure which involves exposing vitiligo lesions to fluorescent lamps which admit ultraviolet light of a very specific range of wavelengths between 310 and 315 nanometers. Narrowband UVB therapy stops the progression of vitiligo by suppressing the immune system in the region to which it is applied, remembering that it is the immune system which destroys the pigment producing melanocytes. Narrowband UVB stabilises the abnormal immune response by causing the death of the cells involved in the immune response by triggering the release of chemicals which suppress the immune system and impair its functioning. Importantly, narrowband UVB therapy also assists in restoring pigment to the vitiligo lesions. In order for repigmentation to occur, functioning melanocytes must be present in the legional skin. Narrowband UVB therapy can stimulate functional melanocytes found in the hair follicles. The hair follicles possess a special area, known as the niche, where the melanocyte stem cells, or immature melanocytes, are located and maintained in a specific environment. These cells can be preserved from the factors that destroy skin melanocytes in vitiligo, such as the immune system. When stimulated by narrowband UVB, the stem cells in the hair follicle mature to melanoblasts which activate, proliferate, and migrate from the hair follicle to the epidermis, becoming melanocytes, fully mature pigment-producing cells, allowing for the skin to repigment. At the surface of the skin, the melanin forms islands of pigmentation in the two millimetre or so surrounding the hair. Over time, the melanocytes migrate further continuing to produce melanin and these islands of pigmentation spread and combine, ideally repigmenting the entire lesion. Narrowband UVB therapy also stimulates viable melanocytes within the depigmented area, which may have survived the attack of the immune system. Furthermore, narrowband UVB stimulates functioning melanocytes at the edges of the lesions peripherally to migrate into the affected area and aid in repigmentation. The degree and repigmentation achieved can depend on the type of vitiligo, the area of the body affected, and the duration of the disease. Although narrowband UVB is the only available alternative for non-segmental vitiligo, the drawbacks are numerous. Acute side effects that have been reported are dryness, itchiness, and redness, but these are generally resolved after the application of topical emollients. Chronic side effects of narrowband UVB may include skin ageing and photocarcinogenesis, which may lead long-term to skin cancer, although these long-term effects are yet to be fully investigated. Treatment by narrowband UVB is required three times a week for up to 18 months, and relapse is common in non-segmental vitiligo. Nevertheless, narrowband UVB is a potent melanocyte stimulant and currently seen as the phototherapy of choice for vitiligo.